Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2021 Bowman Baseball Hobby Edition, so 12 box Hobby Edition. Pick your team number two from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Look at this, this year, all cards ship. I don't know how long that's gonna last, so take advantage of that while, while all cards ship. Thanks everybody. So obviously, uh, Hobby version, one autograph per box, and I think the Hobby also has orange. Uh, parallels. I think that's exclusive to the hobby editions. There you go. It's H for uh, for hobby, not for Hornet. If you remember that, it's always sunny episode. And there it is, right there. Thanks everyone for picking their teams. Appreciate it. And good luck. box so you can see on the top camera right there the helmet that we're giving away in a football mixer later tonight and uh, you can see the rest of these boxes we got a new monitor so that it cleans up the desk a lot so which is really nice got a lot more space now all right good luck here we go this open. Well, I know this is a fairly long break, so we, we can, usually I like to keep the break in line and discussion in line with the sport that we're breaking, but since it's such a long break and because it's draft day today, NFL draft day today, we can definitely lean more football in the in the chatter as well also if you're re-watching this video um, you can screw uh, you can uh, go all to the, all the way to the end there'll be a recap there Paul what's going on how are you baseball wise not what's the early game today Tigers at White Sox oh, I think it's I think they're making up for a uh, rain out yesterday they got a double header today and I think uh, nothing no, no other games. Oh, there were there's, we got a few finals already. Hey, what are my? I, do I have picks today? <laughs> I do these late at night, so I always forget what I ended up picking. I was on St. Louis and Texas. Rangers aren't playing until later, and St. Louis beat the Phillies in extras, four to three. So looks like I lucked out there. A's beat the Rays, three two. And in ten, another extra inning game, in 10 innings, Orioles beat the Yankees 4-3. And uh, yeah, and the Mariners edged out the Mariners edged out the uh, the Astros in Houston, one nothing. Mariners, Mariners playing some good baseball. Chad says, "What bet bet the Diamondbacks? What what are their odds? My my." My computer, my supercomputer, said there was there was not enough value for me on the uh, Diamondbacks. I only had two games: St. Louis and Boston, or uh, St. Louis and Texas. The Diamondbacks have been playing some good uh, some good baseball, though. TJ saying, be on the lookout for a Zaven Collins out of TU, Tulsa University. All right. Here's hobby box number one. Good luck. All cards ship.
We've got an Alec Thomas, speaking of the Diamondbacks. Actually, I think my camera needs to go up just a tiny bit here. Good as it's going to get for now. All right, there you go. So that Alec Thomas will go to Adam and the Diamondbacks. Yeah, you know what, TJ, I I mentioned that to Jason yesterday, that the that the names are so much easier to read this year, because like the font and the contrast, it's all the text just really pops this year too. Even the tiny text on the back of the card. But yeah, that's that's something that that I like. Nelson, what's going on? Moneyline Pacers against the Nets, he's saying. I don't know. We had a Pacers fan in here earlier who was who was thinking that they were going to lose by like 20 points. But I'm sure there's a little value on the uh, splash a little bit on the money line just to see what happens, just in case. Upsets can happen. Here's Riley Green, blue paper to 150. For the Tigers, that's going to be for DMAC. Oh, you, Nelson, you're a Pacer fan too? Well, then take that advice, ladies and gentlemen, with a grain of salt. <laughs> Pacers fan saying take the Pacers on the money line. They've been sucking, but you think they'll wake up and win today? Well, I hope so. Here's I want to look for for just more more color parallels out of Austin Martin, but he's one of the he's one of the best hitters of that 2020 draft. He's supposed to be really good for the Blue Jays. Blue Jays with a lot of uh, a lot of talent in that pipeline. Let's see if we can find more chrome, chrome color. Have we seen? The, we haven't seen the autograph yet. Where's where's the auto? There it is. Two thirty-five out of four ninety-nine. Alexander Ramirez for the Angels. Edward with the Halos. shot on, on these cards here. There we go. All right, so that was Hobby Box number one in the books. Nice. And the next box, two of 12. What's my pace here? I'm in about nine minutes for the first box. So what, about nine, 10 minutes a box, 12 boxes. You can do the math on how long this break is gonna take. By the time I'm finished, it might actually be draft time. NFL draft time. Well, the big news today, <laughs> everyone heard this news, right? The big news today, Aaron Rodgers pretty much saying he wants out the night of the draft. So now what happens? Aaron Rodgers is from Northern California. He did go to Cal, UC Berkeley in Northern California. The Niners traded up to the third pick to get a quarterback. But what, 
Wouldn't you rather want... I'd rather take Aaron Rodgers over... Uh, over Mac Jones or Justin Fields or any of those guys. I wonder if the Niners can pull it off. Steelers? Do the I mean what would the Steelers have to trade? They don't have a third pick overall. I mean the Niners are really in the best position to do something like that. I mean unless the I guess unless the Jaguars or the or the or the Jets decide to do something crazy? Move their pick and some assets? <laughs> Take the whole team. Yeah, I mean, I mean, what does Aaron Rodgers cost? I mean, for the Niners, it's not just the third overall pick. It's got to be the third... Plus, 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 right? But Aaron Rodgers kind of, kind of blowing up the draft today. The draft starts at uh, five o'clock LA time, eight o'clock East Coast. So, or pretty much close to the end of this break. Some neon green behind Shea. There's Nick Mayton. It's already up, actually. To 399 for the Phillies. Chad, there you go. He's been hitting the ball pretty well. I don't know how much power he has, but but just as a hitter, he's been doing pretty well. If he doesn't get traded, yeah, I guess he can just go go to Team Jeopardy. Right, do the Packers trade Aaron Rodgers? What do you do there? I, mean, I don't think Aaron Rodgers has been happy since the last draft when they traded up to get Jordan Love. Well, I think he did that move, Chad, because I don't think he's been happy. Like I said, he hasn't been happy since the last draft when they traded up to get Jordan Love without saying anything. So a D move from the Packers gets a D move from, from Aaron Rodgers. There's Jaron Duran Duran. He's hungry like the wolf. That goes to Matthew and the Red Sox. Orange chrome. Oh, did it? I don't know. Did that card say that, Mike? Maybe. I feel like that's something you say to, like, a little leaguer. Hey, he's, a, he's a spunky kind of kid. He's got moxie. Sanford, other than NTRPAs, what would be a good Kyle Pitts crazy card to go after? Yeah, Prism would be another one. Get some Prism football Kyle Pitts. That would be pretty exciting. And there's Yoelki Cespedes, nice. That's uh, Yoenis' half-brother. Nice one for Tim and the White Sox, there you go. Yeah, so right, and the playoffs for for Aaron Rodgers, the timeout that what that wasn't all the play calling at the end of the game, all sorts of stuff. I think I think that relationship has has 
soured between Aaron Rodgers and the and the Green Bay team. I mean, if I'm the Packers, I mean, any other player, you're like, hey, honor the contract, blah, 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 you know, grind it out. But a quarterback, such a different, you know, such, such a different profile, such a high profile position, like when that player wants out, it's hard not to kind of have to do something. There's Matt Libertor, Fuchsia, Shimmer, 32 out of 199. I don't know. We'll we'll see. The draft is is very soon. The NFL draft is very soon, so we'll see what happens. A crazy 2021 NFL draft coming up. All right, next box. Let's go to the Raiders. I don't know if the Raiders have any, any capital to to that that would make that would make sense unless. Green Bay wanted to buy low or sell low, which I don't think they, they want to sell Aaron Rodgers cheap. He, yeah, I don't think Houston makes sense either. I don't think they have the assets. I mean, I'm thinking here, I'm looking at the, the NFL Draft Wikipedia page. It's, it's pretty much, I don't know, maybe the... You would want to. You would. You you start at at least a top ten pick, is where you start. So anyone in the top ten, I could feel. I feel like are in play, right? Because you have to. Jaguars maybe. <laughs> they if they don't want to get Trevor Lawrence, but Jaguars, Jets, Niners, Falcons. Those uh, Falcons won't. Bengals won't. Dolphins won't. Lions won't. Panthers, I think. Well, Denver. If, if they, I mean, I don't know how attractive that number nine pick is. Saints, no. I think the Saints are, are, are rolling with Jameis Winston. And see if they can cut down some of those interceptions. But I think they're rolling with Jameis Winston, who knows the system, blah, 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 blah. What's up, Barry? What's going on? I, I don't know if Atlanta is going to... Yeah, then there's that question. Steve Birch is right. How much are you going to give up for a 38-year-old? But maybe, I don't know. If you're the Niners, maybe that's... And if you think you're a quarterback away... If you're the Niners and you're thinking you're a quarterback away, maybe you do give up that number three pick and pop in a MVP... QB. And see what happens. You know, and then you trade that third third overall. Maybe maybe another future pick. Right, 38-year-old quarterback. Maybe maybe just the third overall. Maybe a future late round pick. Maybe a player. Player with upside, and that might that might do it. I mean, hell, the Packers might just do it for a third, just for that third pick, maybe. Well, yeah, Barry, the weather is almost always beautiful in Southern California. It's mid to uh, to high 70s near the oceans here at Hermosa Beach. Ivan Johnson. 257 out of 299 speckle autograph for John and the Reds. Right. Now now what is what is Devontae Adams is thinking? I don't have a I don't have a uh, I don't have an MVP quarterback throwing the ball to me. Nice Jeter Downs for Boston. It's for Matthew Shearer, Atomic. Sanford saying Fresno State. What about Fresno State? Eh, 
and Leover Paguero. Fuchsia paper, 40 out of uh, 299. That's going to go to Mark and the Pirates. There's some color right here, Chad. And there's some fuchsia right here to 199 chrome. Daniel Espino for Cleveland. Anthony with the tribe. It's a bold color. Hobby box in the books. Love to see the Patriots make a move for Aaron Rodgers, Steve Burt. That would be a, that'd be that would, that would be a hell of a move for for the for the Patriots if if uh, Belichick was able to pull that off. That would be some definitely some some dark powers, some Sith powers coming into play for Belichick if he pulls that off. Using some dark Sith mind tricks. To make that happen. Carolina? Yeah, they've got the number eight pick. They got Sam Darnold. But if you, I mean, this is why Aaron Rodgers is screwing everything up. Carolina's probably thinking, where was this before we got Sam Darnold? Rodgers to the Saints? That could be crazy. I mean, what would they, they would have to, I mean, they don't have the draft capital to do that. They'd have to move Winston, right? So that's basically, you're asking Green Bay, do you want Jameis Winston? Plus our first round, our late first round pick. Where are they picking? They're picking 28th. You want Jameis Winston plus the 28 for the 38-year-old Aaron Rodgers? Is that enough? I don't know if Packers fans would be happy with that. Could Carolina move? I don't... There must be a rule about about uh, trading a player multiple times in a certain time period for football. I know they have that rule in basketball. But I guess Carolina could be like, hey, here's Sam Darnold, plus the number eight pick, maybe a future pick, or a later round pick for Aaron Rodgers. Honestly, if you think about it, Rodgers and his eventual move to TV, the Niners make the most sense. Well, not really a TV industry in San Francisco, though. L.A. or New York. Although I guess you can broadcast anywhere. Ryan, what's going on? Ooh, yeah. Let's try to find that. The Ace of Lacey last night was solid, though. There's Nate Pearson, Atomic, 
to 150 for the Bluebirds. That'll be for Joshua E. But the Niners do have that number three pick. They need a quarterback. They're probably a QB away, you know, and, and a little luck here and there. No injuries away from going deep into the playoffs. So that probably does make sense. Patrick Bailey. Chris Walker and the Giants. Barry's thinking this is going to be a loaded draft. So maybe he would buy a box of maybe, I don't know, a box of whatever. Prism maybe? 2021 Prism Football. Buy a box of that and just sit on it for a while. See these players develop over the next few years or so. And then profit. There's Joey Votto, fuchsia paper to 299. John and the Red Legs. Yeah, it's it's tricky, Ryan. With the Aaron Rodgers news, it's tricky. Now the Packers kind of don't have leverage because the news is now out, and all these teams are going to try to try to lowball the Packers. Nice Julio Rodriguez atomic. Yeah, Barry, I, I I mean, you could say that for the last few years Prism Prism football has actually been you can buy a box, sit on it and has continued to increase in price. I don't see why this year would be any different. Uh, Mariners, that'll be for Ryan Lynn with that one. You don't think the Packers see versus you don't think the Packers can get a top 10 pick? And if the Niners, but if the Niners want Aaron Rodgers, number three pick. Right, inside out saying like uh, Bears, Lions, Vikings fans are happy that Rodgers is out of the division or hope it's going to be out of the division possibly. There's Anthony Volpe to 250. Purple Chrome for Tim and the Yankees. He's, the Yankees have some guys coming up the pipeline that are pretty solid. This Aaron Rodgers news, can you imagine all the people who like do mock drafts for like a living. <laughs> They've been mocking all of this sort of stuff and then all of a sudden this Aaron Rodgers news drops and now all their mock drafts and stuff could just be could just be blown up. I think the Niners would be nuts to uh, to move that third pick for Aaron Rodgers. Maybe, but if you think, if you get a Mac Jones or a Justin Fields or a Trey or whoever, you know, maybe you're waiting a couple years before that guy turns into what you want him to be. You could win now with Aaron Rodgers. And we can train whistle now right here. Five out of five, Ryan Mountcastle. 100 on the Bowman Scouts top 100. Five of five, O's Mark. Out of fives and under, get the train whistle. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Right, exactly, Ryan. Spend 10 months making up mock drafts, few tweets from Adam Schefter, tear it all up. There's Adinso Reyes to 499 paper. Yeah, when are they going to get another top five pick? Yeah, I don't know. But when are you going to get a chance to go to the Super Bowl? With Aaron Rodgers on that Niners team, I mean, that's a Super Bowl team, right? There's not too many 
Not too many chances to go to the Super Bowl either. If I'm the coach of the Niners, I'm saying let's let's go get Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers will have trouble staying healthy an entire year. He was pretty healthy last year. I feel like he has been pretty healthy the last couple years, no? I feel like the Niners have a decent do they have a decent offensive line? Better than Packers, maybe? That'll help him avoid any injury. He releases the ball so so quickly that I think that he avoids a lot of contact. Yeah, Rodgers to Kittle. I know, so much. Yeah, exactly. You don't you don't win MVPs while being injured. Ryan Lynn said you just got a Devontae Adams 2014 top chrome auto in the mail today. What timing? Yeah, now now what's Devontae thinking? He's thinking he's thinking now if Aaron Rodgers goes, do is, is am I the next domino? Do I ask out? I mean, I feel like any time he does get injured, though, Barry, when he got injured two years ago, wasn't that when someone, he was sacked and someone picked him up and threw him right on his collarbone or something like that? I don't know. Injury issues, I think, of when, is just when you're just, like, you get a non-contact injury or something like that, you know? So, so I don't know. So I don't really count that as, as being being injured, you know? Like, do you think he looks thin? I don't know if that really matters. He's he's been quarterbacking for a long time. I think I think he's I'm not worried about his uh, his size or his body. Yeah, I think that's gonna be fine. John saying or Jason Parsons is saying was tempted to pick up a buy it now. Jordan loved VGS auto on eBay, but based off news, and the seller pulled it. Yeah, Rodgers is older, but, you know, I think I think Brady's not exactly the biggest dude out there. He's been, he's been fine as well. There's Alec Manoa to 125. Aqua Shimmer. This goes to Joshua Edlitz and the Blue Jays. I think, yeah, I think Green Bay is high on Jordan Love. They traded up to get him. So, I don't know. What, I mean, if Green Bay trades Aaron Rodgers to, say, the Niners for the number three overall pick, and at three, I would just go and take, ooh, nice Emerson Hancock. I would, I would take, like, best offensive lineman available right, right there. You protect Jordan Love, and you say, "Let's go, Jordan." There's Emerson Hancock to 4.99. Pretty top pitching prospect right here for Ryan Lind and the Mariners. People have said that he could be—he's a six overall pick. That he's—he's he's a top of the rotation kind of guy. So there you go, refractor autograph for you. We'll see. The draft is going to happen in about an hour and a half, and it'll be wild to see if 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 like a big trade gets done. 
Thanks, Ryan. Yeah, I've been, I've been working on on the train whistle for a while. Got it a good good tone. Atomic Hyun Il Choi for the Dodgers. TJ with the boys in blue. There's Garrett Mitchell to 499. He went to UCLA. Warren, oh, did the did the full spots sell out already? Maybe we can cancel some of those fillers, some of those minis, Warren, and then maybe after this break I'll put some spots back. So that way we don't have to do as many fillers, which would be nice. Almost halfway there. This is the sixth box here in Hobby. Pick your team two. There will be a recap at the end. So if you're watching this video, you know, the next day or whatever, and you're like, wait a second, why am I why am I watching all this when there's a recap at the end? There is. Yeah, I guess people are hyped about that mixer. I'm gonna have to tempt, Jason. I'm gonna have to tempt you. Barry, you're predicting an injury, but for oh, for Aaron Rodgers, you think he's old? And, well, he is old. But I think injury prone is is an unfair tag on Aaron Rodgers. I think that's incorrect. Old, yes. Does that make him susceptible to injury? More injuries? Probably yes. Injury prone. I don't know if that's the right. That's the right wording. Look how excited these people are in the draft, in the rain. I want to be there. Oh, the hockey sold out too. Great. I did see that, Sanford, that Tebow wants to come back as a tight end. He's been talking to uh, Urban Meyer in Jacksonville. They might give him. They might give him a spot. They might roll him out there in the practice squad. See what he can do. Tim Tebow's just like I still want to be a pro ball player somehow. Yeah, I mean concussions though. That's not really on him. Injury, I mean, maybe maybe our definitions are different. Injury prone to me is like some guy who like twists his ankle in practice and misses a game or is hobbling around because his his knee hurts or his hip hurts or he strains something here, a hamstring there, blah, 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 you know, like these little nagging injuries and he can't play 100% because his wrist is banged up, you know, something like that. Aaron Rodgers doesn't strike me as the, as the kind of guy that that is – is injury prone in that sort of sense. I don't know. I don't know if the Vi do the Vikings have draft capital to get Aaron Rodgers? I don't think I, I don't think the Packers will trade Aaron Rodgers to a division rival though. I don't think they would ever trade anyone uh, trade any to anyone in the NFC North, so I think you can just cross out Vikings, Lions and Bears. There's a chrome Austin Martin. We need, some, we need to find some more color for this guy, for Joshua and the Blue Jays. All 
I know, right, Jason? I, I like I was getting ready for work earlier today, and I was like, wait, 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 wait. Tim Tebow's tight end, Jaguars. Ooh, nice orange shimmer, Robert Hassel. That'll be for Mark and the Padres. Nice. Yeah, I and I and I saw and then like. Aaron Rodgers wants out, blowing up the draft, all that sort of stuff. And I was just like, is this real life right now? Or is this just fantasy? This is nice. Mark Bissett, congrats. He's one of the, one of the, just a pure hitter coming out of that draft. Corbin Carroll to 499, refractor for the Snakes. It'll be Adam Swift in the Diamondbacks. Joe Adele. So now, now I know. If you pick a hobby box from a case, pick the sixth one. Well, think about how I unload the case, though. It's it would actually be the top box, unless they unload it upside down like I did. Nice, Aaron Sabato, Atomic. Yeah, this is the kind of stuff we're looking for here. Twins, Damien, with the twins. Joe Adele's still young. I feel like he, I mean, he's not even in the, with the big club right now. I feel like he's got to marinate a little bit more. He hasn't really played that much. Maybe just, just last season? Remember when Aaron Judge was a September call-up and he was garbage and people wanted to, uh, wanted him traded in the off season and then he turned into, you know, started hit 50 home runs and won the rookie of the year. Carson Tucker. To 125, Cleveland, Anthony. There he is, Joe Adele. He heard you talking about him, Chad. He's like, hey, come on, Chad, give me a chance. All right, we're halfway through the break, folks. Yeah, Inside Out's a Red Sox fan, and he's saying his rookie season was amazing. That's coming from a, a Boston fan. It really was. Baseball product was real hot that summer, I remember, because of, because of him. Now he might, I might put the injury prone tag on him. He, he's just been banged up here and there. He really needs to, really need to put together a couple good seasons for all those Aaron Judge, for all the people who have, uh, who have heavy positions on Aaron Judge in their portfolios. I'm sure, there are a lot of Yankee fans who have taken a heavy position on Aaron Judge. Grab the lip of that pack for a second.
Imagine if the Jaguars just gave up the number one pick and just said, <laughs> no, they won't. They're not ready. They don't need an Aaron Rodgers. Justin Fields wearing a, a Dodgers hat. Where's Justin Fields from? Just wearing it because it's cool? No, he's from Georgia. All right. All right, we're halfway through Pick Your Team 2, ladies and gentlemen. Here's the seventh box going 7 through 12. We're at about, what, 40? So it's about another 45 minutes to this break, ladies and gentlemen. Probably take a little little, uh, little bit of a break after this and regroup. And then we'll go through some more orders and we'll see what we got. Actually, that happens a lot, Warren. A lot of times the, 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 the full spots in the break sells out. Uh, the, main, the main spots sell out in a break, and then someone always is like, hey, the football mixer sold out. When's it going to break? And I'm always having to tell people, hey, we have to do like three more fillers and blah, 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 blah. So it ha actually it happens frequently. It almost happens all the time. <laughs> hey, that sold out. When's it going to break? We got to do those minis, remember? And they're like, oh, right, right. all the time. Got another orange here. Heston Kirk's had that nice little color match. I, I like when the colors match the uh, the parallel, matches the color of the team. That goes to Mark and the O's. There's Nick Bitsko, green. That is to 99. Looks like green. It's got some speckle in the background there, too. That looks pretty cool. Tampa Bay, Patrick, Pat Cologne with the Tampa Bay Rays. What do you mean no story story time tonight? You want to start? I can, I can tell stories. Don't worry, Chad. Everyone does it. Everyone does it. Even even some longtime regulars. Ooh, another color match right here. Purple, Zach Veen. 162 out of 250. Purple Mountain Majesty. Rockies, Mark. With the Rocks. Gets the purple Zach Veen. He's supposed to be pretty good too. Ninth overall pick. And we've got it. Christian Robinson right here. Paper to 4.99. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, it was a little slower for me at the beginning of the day. We did get to do story time. Joey Gallo, gold paper to 50. And I want to see a big trade go down. This Aaron Rodgers news got me. I, mean, I was already excited about the draft, boys and girls. I was already excited about the draft. And now I'm just like, Aaron Rodgers, is that, is that trade actually going to happen?
There's Jaron Duran Duran. Red Sox Atomic Matthew Shira. Thanks, Jens. I try. All right, next box. Trey Lance, nice sunglasses, Trey Lance. A little bow tie going on there. Now, I, I, do, I don't watch a lot of... I don't watch enough college football, but I feel like Trey Lance, the Trey Lance hype kind of came out of nowhere. Now I know he's from, there's pedigree at North Dakota State, but for people who watch college football, Trey Lance, first round QB, real deal. Seabirds, you think the Patriots saw something out their sleeves? I feel like they don't trade their picks very often. I feel like I've been hearing that. If anything, the Patriots tend to trade down and not up. But I don't know. I mean, this could be the year that, that Belichick gets spicy. box here. Yeah, Robert's saying that he's only had like 30 some odd plays. Yeah, I feel like there's some inexcusable there he is right here being interviewed. But I feel like he a bit of a experience might be a thing. I wonder I wonder if he needs to if he's the kind of quarterback that needs to marinate behind Another QB for a season or two. Warren's asking, where do you think uh, Kyle Pitts will go? JM says, to Atlanta. That seems to be, yeah. Give, give Matt Ryan another weapon. That'd be pretty awesome. Can you imagine that? That receiving core? No, what's that, Jesse? Yeah, I mean, that seems to be the logical choice, but I think they, I don't know. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. They should take a quarterback. Right, like what if, what if the Niners get Aaron Rodgers, right? With the th and trade the three, so that means Green Bay is probably not not taking a quarterback. There's another Heston Kirkstad, nice one, Mark. And then that that then you're talking about the quarterback, the youngster that was supposed to go at three and may now be available at four. Could be all sorts of twists and turns here, ladies and gentlemen. Stick with Jaspies. We'll be watching the draft here as well. We can discuss the picks with not only myself but uh but the rest of the crew in the chat I don't I don't know what the, what those names are Rex And Bobby Miller is Matthew Thompson. Aqua Shimmer to 125. White Sox, that'll be for Tim. Maybe, maybe Miami gets Kyle Pitts, drops to the six. I was hearing that they were, that Miami was, some people are speculating that they'll get Devonta Smith or one one of the Alabama receivers to reunite with uh, with Tua. 
So they CJ Abrams right there for the Padres. For Mark. Got a neon green border, Grayson Rodriguez to three ninety nine. Another one for the O's. I know what is next for Rex Robert. You're right. Yeah, you know, he did hockey last night. He's doing some UFC. See Rex like getting into some soccer. There's Joey Gallo, green paper to three ninety nine. Oh, that's nice, Steve. All right, that that's for the that's for Jacob and the Rangers. There's a nice atomic for the Reds, Nick Lodolo, John. We got a purple Aaron Sabato, purple chrome Aaron Sabato for the Twins. Nice, Damian with Minnesota. It's one of the one of the big names. And all the not only the Twins but in baseball, he's supposed to be pretty solid. Late first round pick. Yeah, that's that's good. Get it get it while you can. I was, I was stunned that that was sold out as soon as we got that in. All right, marching on, folks. We're getting there. We are getting there. Sanford saying Ocho tweeted, Ocho Cinco? Twe uh, tweeted that his sources say Aaron Rodgers to San Francisco or maybe Pittsburgh. How, how plugged in is, uh, is Ocho Cinco? I know, yeah, there has been a lot of repeat for those good teams. This this is not something I noticed in our previous breaks. I know, Robert. I, I guess there, there were people in the store that were just that just swooped in. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how how plugged in Ocho Cinco is into the. Uh, I mean, is is he does he have Adam Schefter level of credibility, or is it just my buddy who's an agent of an agent of a player that heard from a front office assistant phone call? <laughs> oh man, I would I would I would love to be a guest on a. Uh, 
on Joe Rogan's show. Do we have enough? Do we have enough clout for that, Rex? I feel like we're we're maybe not loud enough. I think I don't. I mean, if if we become like sort of rock star breakers, maybe if we had that kind of hype. I don't know. Nick and I are too low key for that sort of thing, though. And it's not like our. It's not like we have like these viral videos that we have that we can be like, "What up, guys?" Boom! Oh my god, what a monster head! Hi, fireman! Fire emoji, fire emoji! Heart, 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 heart! But hey, Joe, if you're out there listening, we'd be happy to. There's a Dale Amador for Mark and the Rockies. There's Jaron Duran Duran to 150. Hungry like the wolf. Or Rio. Or uh, Ordinary World. Reflex. So on and so forth. Well, Rex, listen. If Maybe you should reach out to Joe Rogan and be like, hey, we'd like to hear more about the uh, case break industry. Maybe talk to those guys over at Jaspies. Maybe, maybe, maybe do that. Give him, give him a, a four star review of his podcast, and then in the comments, be like, hey, what about these guys? I'm sure he has. He there's a way to contact him. I can't do it because then it's just like, obviously. I'm doing it for business purposes. But if you do it as a fan, Rex. There's Josiah Gray, Refractor. For TJ and the Dodgers. He's, this guy's supposed to be pretty good, too. Dodgers have a lot of good dudes. Almost too many. There's Luis Garcia, Fuchsia Paper to two ninety nine for Mark. Yeah, see Rex, yeah. You can just be like, hey, big fan of the show, also big fans of Jaspies. Maybe you get them on and tell some stories. Pete Crow Armstrong, Atomic Refractor. That's for Armando and the Mets. Warren, I just saw caught what Warren was saying earlier. Um, he was saying, uh, what if Aaron Rodgers, we're talking about all these potential trade scenarios in the draft. What if he just straight up retires? He's like, eh, <laughs> I'm done. I'm going to walk away. See you guys. Yeah, I would love to go on that podcast. Robert, if, if, if Joe Rogan invites me, I'd love to go on that podcast. Spin some yarns about the hobby. And then ask him, how'd you get that Spotify money? Jaspies will sell out to Spotify. Group breaks exclusively on Spotify. All right, three boxes to go. We're almost there. We are almost there. About another 20, 25 minutes to go. Maybe 10 minutes a box, 30 minutes to go. We're close. I get to take the, what, is that a, is that a shtick that he does? I get to take three boxes with me. What am I taking? What's the context to like a desert island? 
out of the out of the burning shop. In case of a flood. If anybody wants to donate their face For for this? Yeah, instead of they don't want it. Folks, if you don't want your uh, your paper base, we can don't you can donate to charity. Contact us with the support button on jazbeescaserace.com. Sample of a good hobby story. What about uh what about the 1952 Topps baseball cards? In the bottom of the Hudson. That's a good story. We talk about how the business started. That's a good story too. Out of a out of a dark, cold garage emerged Jaspie's Case Breaks and the Big Hit Express. Providing hours and hours of entertainment and group breaks. Millions of cards ripped over the last seven years. Actually, the boss man probably has the best hobby stories. He's, he's, he's been around the block. He's got a lot of wild stories from like the, uh, when the National in the 70s and 80s. A lot of crazy things happened there. All right, next box. There's Trent DeVoe to 499 Refractor for the Halos, Edward. Yeah, Mike Tower, if you ever uh, come and visit the shop, and you catch the boss man here. He'll 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 spin hobby yarns till till uh, till his voice goes out. He'll be happy to. He's got some good stories. Xavier Edwards to twenty five. Sanford's asking, please tell me that the mob was involved. If I told you, I'd have to kill you. There's Xavier Edwards, Patrick, and I don't want to do that. Too, uh, I'm too pretty for prison. There's a couple of good chrome cards right here. We're not finding color for, I guess we saw some Aaron Sabato. We're not finding color for Austin Martin. I want to see more of that. Here's Aaron Sabato chrome. That's for Minnesota. Yeah, Josh Edlitz, we need to find some some Austin Martin parallels for you. <laughs> well, we'll worry about who's going to go once we once we get the interview locked in. Yoelki Cespedes, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Tim with the White Sox, is that another? Is that our first one or is that second one? Didn't we have one earlier? I'm going to do a recap. We'll we'll find out. But nice Yoelki Cespedes. I feel like we did because I was talking about that his half brother is Yoenis Cespedes. Man, this this lead up to the draft is like it's like watching the Oscars. They've got, they've got the red carpet out there, boss man. They got the red carpet. They're talking about who are you wearing tonight. Oh, yeah. It just feels like the Oscars, like the pre-draft uh, stuff. The only thing I care about is fly eagles fly. Fly eagles fly. What what are what are the eagles going to do? Where I don't even know where they're. Trade Jalen Hurts. Right at right before draft. Wow, maybe trade Jalen Hurts. Yeah. Going for QB, baby. And a, get a, get another QB. That's going to make a lot of people. A lot of Eagles collectors said. <laughs> well, we'll we'll see what Philadelphia does. They're 
They are. They have the twelfth pick. We need a receiver. There could be some receivers at the twelfth pick. There's Casey Martin, blue shimmer to one fifty. Speaking of Philadelphia, there's Casey Martin going to Chad and the Phillies. Jose Garcia, purple paper to 250 for John and the Reds. Let's find some more Blaze Jordans, too, for Matthew and the Red Sox. I've seen a couple paper, but really the chrome, chrome color, that's what we want to see. Maybe an autograph. All right, two boxes to go, two autographs to go. A lot of, a lot of potential uh, color in here as well, parallels. Let's keep an eye out for that. They're giving up on Carr. I'm sure John Gruden really wants Aaron Rodgers, though. You know, like he. Yeah, John John Gruden did it with with Rich Gannon, aging quarterback. You know, had him for yeah, a few yeah. years, had yeah. some great years. You know, I think he, he might be interested. Years, they've always had luck with right, right, right. Yeah, the, the Raiders have had some old quarterbacks where where it's like their second or third team, and then you know, and then yeah. and then Super Bowl. Aaron Rodgers throwing to Henry Ruggs. Ooh. Darren Waller. I heard that too. The guys in the chat were talking about it. He wants to be a tight end at over uh, with uh, Urban Meyer. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, Mike Tower is saying after tonight, Breakers can assign select XRC cards to the right teams. Yeah, we don't have to randomize those anymore. QB one's got to be Trevor Lawrence. I don't know who RB one, WR one, TE one, and defense one's going to be. Yeah, I know. I, I agree, Jeremy. I don't think the Raiders have the capital. They'd have to move. I mean, they'd have to move Derek Carr. If the Packers even want him. Probably not. And the 17th pick. And future picks. And probably, I don't know, Darren Waller. <laughs> Something like that. It would be, it, it, it would get kind of crazy. And future picks. I don't, yeah, I don't know if the... Oh, t a TE one will definitely be Pitts. Trevor Lawrence and Kyle Pitts, right, t tight end one. So wide receiver one, RB one, defense player one for those XRC cards. Yeah, I don't know.
I think there are some some prop prop bets on the draft. A lot of times you'll see like how many quarterbacks taken before you know the tenth pick. You know, over under two and a half or three and a half or something like that. And they're out there. I'm sure you can find some at a lot of some a lot of offshores. Yeah, Matt DeLeo's thinking about fantasy football. There's Hunter Green, yellow parallel, green yellow to 75. Can you imagine Kyle Pitts getting getting him drafting him as a tight end, basically adding another receiver on your team? Yeah, Chad, shoot us a shoot us an email on that. Click that support button on jazbeescasebreaks.com and let us know. Give us the break number and all that. And then our shipping team will take care of it. There it is. Hyun Il Choi. 69, nice, out of 150. Blue parallel matching the blue Dodgers right there. Nice. So South Korean pitcher, number 13 Dodger prod. This goes to TJ with my Dodgers. Number 13 prospect, according to Baseball America. Averaged about almost 10 strikeouts per nine in the Arizona Fall League 2019. It's pretty good. Very speed in locations. Cunningly to keep hitters guessing. Loose arm action, low 90s fastball, late breaking hook, promising changeup, confident athlete. Top contender to go number one overall in the Korea, uh, the Korea baseball organization draft coming out of high school. Opted to sign with the Dodgers instead. There'll, there'll be spots in the rotation in the coming years. Unfortunately, Kershaw's not getting any younger. Bauer's on a short deal. Walker Buell will be around for a while. But David David Price, I think, is towards the end of his deal and all that. So. And thank you, Chad, for for donating the paper base. There's Andres Jimenez to a four ninety nine. Some paper for Armando. Mike's asking, do any of the current quarter young quarterbacks get a wide receiver or a running back to help them next year? That seems to be a big topic of conversation, Mike. Uh, like the Bengals with the number five pick, do they reunite? Joe Burrow with his, I forget who the LSU receiver is, but do they reunite, reunite them together? Or do they go offensive line? At six, and right after that, how do you help Tua? Do you take offensive line? Or do you give him a weapon to throw to? Jamar Chase, right, PJ, thank you. There's Max Meyer, purple paper, 250. Blaze Jordan, chrome. All right, do you give? Do you get more? Who, who else has a young quarterback and need more weapons? Giants, maybe. Right, Panthers. You you want to give? Want to give uh, Sam Darnold some extra weapons? That's that that seems to be the smart choice. Go O line to protect Burrow. But I don't know. That's not the sexy choice, though. That's the uh, boring, safe choice. Panay Suell on that team for 12 years or something like that, protecting any quarterback for the next decade. There's Max Meyer for the fish. That goes to Mark. Top pick for the, uh, for the Marlins. Last box. Here we go. How many years has the boss man been in the card industry? Since, since birth. Since birth, Rex, the boss man's father was a, a, a sports writer back in the day and also created one of the earliest hobby-related magazines, which eventually paved the way for, uh, for Beckett as we know it today. You know, this, hop, this little hobby paper showed up on that eight-minute CBS Sunday morning Oh yeah. Do you have any co any any copies of that laying around in the vault? 
on, on CDS? Wow, nice. That was a nice piece of the car. Yeah, so since birth, Rex. Ah, uh, you're kind, Rex. Yeah, so so around around 40 years since birth. <laughs> yeah, Mike just said, he just said, uh, he said uh, he's 51st year, entering 51st year selling cards. So he's seen it all. The ups, the downs, and the ups again. When you see it, show him a picture of me at the... I think I think Mike has been you you've been to almost probably almost all the nationals right since the, since the beginning except for obviously the covid canceled ones and blah 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 but but yeah I want to say Mike's probably been to 99% of the nationals since its inception He's had, yeah, Mike's had, Bossman's had long stints working as a price guide editor for Beckett, has a long stint with Tops, has, has owned, I guess it's thir three hobby shops now in three different eras. Nick's older brother, Alex. Um, I think was a baby and was taken to the national <laughs> card shows. Oh, we wouldn't know anything about that, Sanford. No shaking down. Just a, a, a conversations though, talks, shakedowns. I don't do anything like that. We have a nice con we have a nice chat. There's Austin Meadows, blue paper to 150. Patrick with the Rays. Awesome here at the end. We haven't pulled the we haven't pulled the last auto yet, right? No, we have not. Just noticed that aqua peeking out of there. That's uh, Brett Beatty. Not to be confused with Dodgers player Matt Beatty. They spell it differently. That's uh, one twelve to one twenty five for Armando and his Mets. Jordan Adams to 125, Aqua Shimmer for the Halos. That'll be for Edward. It's Nate Pearson, Rookie of the Year. Ooh, and a redemption. Ooh. Someone was telling me that a certain player is a redemption. Maybe it's that player. Are, are there anyone else who's a, is there anyone else who's a redemption in these Bowman baseball sets, or is it just that one guy? Orange paper, Josh Donaldson to twenty five. I personally haven't seen any of those buyback autos yet. For the Twins, orange paper, Damian. There's Reed Detmers, 
Atomic for the Angels, Edward. Oh, uh, Jason Jaspi on the Instagram channel saying he pulled Ozzy Albies. Ozzy Albies? Ozzy, Ozzy Smith? Hmm. Jordan Groshans paper to four ninety nine for the Blue Jays, and will that will that last redemption be a Blue Jay? Be awesome. Fingers crossed. Good luck, everybody. It's you are due to receive a Chrome Prospect autograph, purple refractor. That's to two fifty. I want to say. I like how Topps does team names on here, so we'll we'll see the team. T. Tampa? No. Toe. Ron Toe. Austin Martin. For the Toronto Blue Jays, and that is for Joshua Edlitz. Bought the Blue Jays straight up. Congrats to you. Now, according to my 2021 Bowman Baseball Guide that I that you, you that everyone has access to if they click the schedule, I didn't do too much research on him because I think people know what he's all about. But there was an old MLB.com. He's fifth overall out of Vanderbilt. Should be late, maybe a September call up. Maybe see him next year. But MLB.com says that he's one of the best pure hitters coming out of the 2020. Um, the 2020 MLB draft, which included like Torkelson and all those guys too. They're on that list as well. All right, so congrats to you, Joshua. Thanks everyone for watching. Here is the recap for 2021 Bowman Baseball 12 box hobby case pick your team two. A lot of nice color, some good paper, nice autographs, Dodgers, there you go. Yoelki Cespedes in the mix. I like the orange parallels in these hobby boxes. Nice neon green borders. Heston Kirk studs. Zach Veens. Got a nice Robert Hassel orange shimmer autograph. Emerson Hancock. Man, this it's a pretty solid break, I want to say. Some Atomics, some Fuchsias. There's another ULT Cespedes. Austin Martin, and then Alec Thomas at the beginning there. And there you go, boys and girls. Thanks for breaking with us. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking with me through a really long break. I appreciate it. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.